Hi guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my top 10 OTPs. Now, if you don't know what OTP stands for, it stands for One True Pairing, and it's basically people that you ship together as a couple in books, TV shows, or movies. So, here we go. Now, this is a relationship that shouldn't really have worked out at all because it was between a vampire and a vampire slayer. Even if you've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer before, you would probably get that that could be hard in a relationship. When Buffy first met Angel, she found him kind of annoying, which is understandable because he was basically stalking her. But as things went on, she fell in love with him. Sure, there was a little bit of a mix-up when she found out that he was a vampire, but that all settled. But then they slept together. And because Angel was cursed, the curse would only break if he experienced a moment of happiness. And that was sleeping with Buffy. So he turned back into his evil self. And Buffy decided that she was going to have to kill him. But then, Willow was able to turn Angel back to being good. But Buffy still knew that she would have to kill him because she had no idea that he could turn bad again. So she killed him. But he does end up coming back in season three, which I actually haven't watched yet. And side note, when I do watch it, I will post a video about it because I have reviews on season one and two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. And even though the show ends with Buffy not with Angel, these two have a very complicated relationship. And they've certainly been through a lot with each other. When the Doctor first met River, in his timeline, he had no idea who she was. But she knew exactly who he was. Which can confuse a person. Their relationship can be pretty hard because whenever they meet up with each other, they don't know how long it's been. Because it could be different lengths of time for either of them. Because they both have a different time stream. It must be frustrating for the Doctor that River keeps secrets from him. But I mean, come on. Spoilers. Not to mention the fact that his companions, Amy and Rory, are also River's parents and also were best friends with her when she was Melanie and also got set up together by her. It's a weird thing to think about a child setting up their actual parents together but I guess she had to for everything to happen. But besides all this crazy time mumbo jumbo the Doctor and River seem to make it work. Rory had to stand by and watch Amy pine after the doctor for such a long time before she finally paid any attention to him. They were also set up by their daughter as their best friend. Time traveling is kind of weird. It was obvious that Amy really did care about Rory when she decided to let the weeping angel zap her into the past so she can be with him. And that was sweet. Triss and Ford really became each other's families. Both Triss's parents were killed and her brother Caleb betrayed her. Ford's father was abusive and his mother was not really around. They were all each other had. I really think they were really cute together. And I was really sad when Triss died in Allegiant. And I was really worried that Four was actually going to wipe Triss from his memory. But I was glad when Christina stopped him. Triss would not like it if Four forgot about her. Katniss and Peeta have been through so much together. I mean, they had to kill other kids in order to survive. 
I felt really bad for Peeta when Katniss was just pretending to like him in the first book slash first movie. But then as time went on, she actually did develop feelings for him, and it was pretty hard for her because there was also Gale. Their relationship in Mockingjay had to be the hardest because Peter was kidnapped in Catching Fire, and now he was hijacked into thinking that Katniss was the enemy and wanted to kill her. But even though Katniss knew that she might have to kill Peeta, she still never gave up on him. And they got married and had kids. Now that's beautiful. In a way, these two were horrible together, but also really funny. I think my favorite Chanel and Chad scene was when Chanel thought that Chad was cheating on her, and so she went to his room and found him in bed with a goat, and she thought he was cheating on her with a goat, but Chad said that he was lactose intolerant so he needed the goat's milk. There were moments that they loved each other, and moments when they didn't. They broke up a lot through the season, but always seem to get back together. Although, by the end of season one, they are officially broken up. Harry started off not really being attracted to Ginny at all. But she was attracted to him. But to Harry, all Ginny really was was his best friend's little sister. And when he finally did begin to notice her, she was already dating someone else. And then when they did get together, he had to break up with her to keep her safe. But then they were finally able to be together and get married and have kids. Good job, Harry. Very complicated relationship, but turned out okay in the end. Ginny and Harry can be an example for anyone with crushes on a celebrity, if you will. If Harry could be considered a celebrity, it could happen. This relationship is a perfect example of that thing people say that, oh, if a boy makes fun of you, it means he likes you. It was so annoying how long it took for these two to get together. It seemed like everyone knew that they had feelings for each other, except for them. I mean, when Hermione was with Crumb, Ron was jealous. When Ron was with Lavender, Hermione was jealous. And yet they never really admitted that they were jealous because they liked the other one. It was such a relief when they finally got together. These two seemed really perfect for each other. I mean, sure, Pete was a little bit creepy at times, and he did have a red devil costume in his closet, but I trusted Grace when she trusted him. But then it was revealed that Pete was actually asked and kind of forced to help the red devils. And before he could tell Grace who the other killer was, he got killed. Which is sad, but I mean, come on, if Pete actually did tell Grace who the other killer was, that would have been a very short season finale. Now before I talk about this pairing, I just want a quick uh, little disclaimer. I haven't actually watched the season where Tara comes in yet, but I know all about it and I've seen clips and I still really love them as a couple. Two girls who meet each other at a Wiccan meeting and then realize that they're the only two real witches there. First they become friends, but then it develops into something more. At first, Willow wanted to keep Tara for herself, but after Tara met everyone, they welcomed her with open arms. This couple had its ups and downs, and I'm not okay that Tara had to get killed right when they got back together after breaking up. But, I mean, I can understand that it was the only way to start the Dark Willow storyline. Rest in peace, Tara. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you like any of these couples that I mentioned, let me know in the comments. Or, make your own list in the comments. Bye.